Trini. Hello, Molly. Because your mom is coming later. This is kind of those key things that I could put in a suitcase and I would feel I have a wardrobe wherever I go. And this is Zara Jean. I love this jean because jeans reflect for me an ageousness or not money, you know? And it's like lots of you say, should I do a skinny jean still? What should I do? And I love the volume of an A-line jean. Whenever I try a bootleg on, I feel it goes to my past. 2010 when I wore the bootleg with a high heel and a jacket and I don't wear many high heels anymore. So I love love this jean because it feels it goes in at my waist and it's got the nice volume when I'm wearing the volume I could wear a really, really skinny on top but with volume I need volume and this has to be one of the top 10 things I ever bought from Zara it's a jumper it was I don't know 30 quid but it's this weird sleeve that makes me feel it's a designer jumper. And whenever I put it on and I do something this clean, all I will need is a strong lip to make it feel statementy. Jumper that's unusual, but in a neutral color is a key piece. So I'm also gonna show you my six key pieces in makeup because I wear so many colors, but one is the perfect red lip that goes with nearly everything. For me, that is actually Swainy because this is just a pop of red. It's a little bit warm, but it makes other things shine. And with Nehi, I love it. And usually when I do my lips, I don't go right to the edge. I stop before. And I learned that from Ray Morris, who always said to me, if you want to get a fuller lip, close your mouth and just see where the line is and never put your color at that line. Take it in just before. And that will make all the color go to the front. So, and I could do literally a wash of wisdom, which is my probably go to to neutral eye if I had to choose two eyes and I might do a tiny bit of blusher Electra so there basic works so now what was you know a really simple thing has got a little bit more to it and I put the lip on and it's given it something and then I want to build on this outfit so I'm going to take a key accessory which is going to be it's something Lila has recently discovered this which is my lovely scarf that I always put on whenever I'm tired and I would just add that to my look and it just takes it somewhere else so I could have started off my day jeans and a jumper with structure and then I add a lip and then I add a scarf and then it's become an outfit so simple but so fabulous next key piece the second key piece is the perfect white t-shirt and it could be if you don't suit white the perfect ecru t-shirt or the perfect cream t-shirt but that very neutral lighter colored t-shirt and it took me a long time to find this because i used to get rag and bone t-shirts and then they were very tight at my arm which i didn't like and some of them it showed off my boobs and it was a bit too thin so you could see it and sometimes i like to go braless and this i found in selfridges and it's called the good american and it has shoulder pads so i mentioned this i think on a previous closet confessions how you could just take a t-shirt that got too tight on your arm and tuck it in and make the shoulder pad moment so lots of t-shirts are just straight across but this one goes up here and is a nice curve so I can tuck in one side and show off my waist in the high-waisted jeans but at the back I just have that little curved roundness what style is that called curved roundness slit on the side t-shirt Molly okay this is about a fun necklace which you can dress up or down. And I've got a lot, but this is one that I think I got from Zara. But there's that moment where you just wanna do the kind of necklace, cool t-shirt moment and just dress it up a little bit like that. And then I might want to dress it up more and I'm going to go onto my third key piece. So this I'm now going out in the evening, a sequin. I might add on something to my eye. So all I'm gonna do is add some fortune in because I just want that lovely little shimmer onto my eye of the bronzy look. So Fortune goes incredibly well with Sweeney. And I might take that necklace up. What I do tend to do, another key essential in my wardrobe is safety pins, because safety pins do so much for outfits. So it was like that and you could do that, but I'm very tall and I got a very long neck. If you had a short neck, I think it's nice to have a necklace a bit lower, but I just feel I see that. So I want to take a little bit of a safety pin and I'm going to make the necklace smaller. So I just take the safety pin and I take the two little links and put them together. And now it sits at my neck, mess up my hair, and I feel I've got a fun evening outfit. Which of mine has arrived? <laughs> Massimo Dutti sequin jacket. Now, you know I love sequins, and a sequin jacket in the right shade goes with everything. And this to me, I can wear with silver and gold. 
That's why I love it so much. And it's a classic shape. There's no button detail, so there's no, you know, silver or gold button, which would put me off what else I'd, I'd team it with. I can do this with a lovely black trouser. I can do this with a jean. I can do this with a tweed suit, which I'm gonna show you later. But with a white t-shirt and a fun necklace, I'm ready now to have gone from daytime white t-shirt to evening out. Totally. And this is what really is the basis of so many wardrobes is the sensational statement shirt, white shirt and I think it goes with everything. A statement white shirt has to be a white shirt that if you play it down and wear it with jeans and really casual it's all about the shirt and this is a shirt about volume. We've done trends so volume is strong this season but I love volume anyway in a shirt because there's time for it and as long as you can fit the sleeves into a jacket you're fine. But this one is from Arc and it's got this lovely grow grain detail I like the neckline because when I wear a coat over it, it's incredibly sharp at the collar. And when I'm wearing white just like this, I will do a red lip still. And I'll wear it with jeans. I'll show you a few other things I'm gonna wear it with. But I'm gonna go on now to my statement coat. It is the one I've worn all year. So I'm gonna put that on. But before I finish it, let me change the lip. So as soon as I go to browns and other colors, I could wear the red lip, but I feel I want to be now my perfect neutral palette for makeup. So I'm gonna take that off and I'm going to do the look I love to do when I just want some life and energy on my face, but I don't want to look like I've made too much of an effort. So I would go in with a little bit of BFF rebalance because I want to have that soft matte complexion and I'll just rub that in over my makeup that I've already got on just because I want to take away the colors I've already had on. And then I'm going to go with VB Lip to Cheek. This is like a new neutral for me, but I kind of love it. So for my really neutral palette, I'm going to use Justice, which is just a way I can clean up my eye and it's our sort of most neutral putty shade. And then I'm going to do a dash of Sasha which is our lip love. And it's just that pretty sort of pinkiness. And then I'm gonna mix some of that with Bunny, which is our sheer shimmer, and just create this very soft blusher. You can do this with highlighter as well, but it creates that really glowing, shiny cheek. Not the rest of your face, but just where you want that glow, like that. And then I'm gonna finish off with a little bit of Katie sheer shimmer in the middle. This is my coat that I've taken. Ever since I've got it, it's been on a journey with me because it goes with everything. So when I say it's my key piece, it goes with so much. And I can show you, I'll just do it with a few outfits and you can see, but it's a mixture of colors I love. So it's got navy in it and white. There's a weird brown, but if I wore that brown on its own, it wouldn't go, but in a pattern, it works well. And I never thought Jemima of having a pattern coat as a key coat, but it's a shape. So, you know, shapes of my coats have changed a little bit over the years. I used to be very narrow silhouettes. You might think when you're used to dressing a certain way, that oversized feels just too big for you, but it's all about that proportion of your outfit. So challenge yourself and just try a little bit of oversize. And it might be we go out of the fashion of oversize, but I think oversize like leopard has become a classic. I don't think it's just a seasonal thing for the last two years because it's been around for about three or four years. Mm. I love this coat and I just, um, you know, I could do everything with it. I could do my scarf here. You know, if I wanted to make it smarter, and just have that little look going around the scarf. You know what would be an essential? Is a leopard. It would just be my essential scarf because it will, like this, go with many things. And I'm gonna show you now the scarf tying. So you take it like this and it needs to be this size and this thin. If it's a very narrow scarf, it doesn't work, but I will always have with me you know, a, a, an essential is a scarf and a standout classic is a scarf and they're different types. So I go like that and then I come round here and I pull it either side up till it's right at my neck. You don't want to be loose here. You want to be like you're being strangled. And then you're going to get the most volume. And if the scarf is the right length, it would go down and it would just graze your body gracefully. And if you're somebody who's uncomfortable with your tummy, it's a great tummy cover upper. But you want to get the length in it because if their scarf is like that and you're doing it, it's a very different look. Especially if you've got bigger boobs. Especially, it's... otherwise it's the shelf that just sits on top and you want it to skim. Yep, skim yep. away. Skim away. So this for me is like my uniform. Yeah. 
Yeah. I do think having it oversized means you can fit a lovely sleeve in as well, can't yes. you? Yes, let's That's talk what about I have that trouble with. because I'm going to go on now to my true essential suit. I'm going to start with these as a trouser because I never knew how much I needed a thick, heavy, high-waisted tweed trouser until I got these from Essentials Antwerp. And I got this a year ago, this suit, and I have worn it so much. And I wear it a number of different ways, but whenever I don't know what to wear, I wear this, and it's so surprising. But I think what's clever, again, it's high-waisted. I feel I get a, a nice waist in it. Even though the fabric is heavy and it's got pleats, they hang beautifully. They don't hang like that, which can happen with a fabric that isn't so heavy and then you feel bulbous there yeah so this just is smooth and you've got to have it with my favorite so two shoes I wouldn't get rid of are my Hogan's which I'm not even in at the moment <laughs> which have that heel which allows me to get the fall of the fabric and give some length to my leg without me looking like I'm tottering on heels because the look of the outfit would be different if I wore a high heel or I wore mm. a high boot underneath it would be trying harder and I want this to be very pared back and then I'll put the jacket on top, which comes with it. <laughs> I can wear it like that with my essential white shirt and just have a really nice suit like that. And then I can put my coat on top, which is what I did all winter. And luckily, because the coat's oversized, like Molly said earlier, you can actually manage to then have the coat properly like a man would have it over the suit and then do the suit up. This works for me and this makes me really comfortable and I like how high the neckline is of the shirt with the suit. But I am thinking Jemima, the way I wear it the most is with something that isn't on this rail, which I have got to say is an essential. Should we go and get it? Yeah, we're, going to get it. we're going to add these up at the end, but these are just my essential piece. So an essential for me is a shoulder pad I wear underneath everything else. It's not the white t-shirt one with the shoulder pad, but it's the thing that has made all my clothes look better on my body as I go down the path of life. And then it's the H&M. But I wear it every few days. So it is an essential and it's a key piece. And it costs, I think, £9.99. And it's as precious to me as the thing I'm going to put over it in a minute. You'll find a skinny polo neck can do so many things for you. It can be something you put under dresses. And if it's metallic, it makes everything look fun. So black dresses, which were boring, you put this underneath and you have this kind of lightness that comes to the clothing. Wear it with a sort of tweedy, heavier fabric and it feels sort of fun and a little bit more glamorous unless I'm in the countryside taking a country walk. And the polo neck, to me, the key element is it should be tight. It shouldn't be loose like that. That, it's a very different look from if I have it like that. Totally, you know, it yeah. just, this gives that sort of throne for your head. And this is like, it's lolling about like the dog in the back of the car. So I can then go on with the jacket. And then if I'm doing something like this, I would then push up the jacket sleeve and get that sort of length and get some other texture coming, which I adore and I've done every five days probably all winter long. I'm at a stage now where I know I won't be bored of this. This is a look that suits me. I feel very comfortable in it. I can run around in it, but I have that little bit of glamour that I want to have in my life. And then, <laughs> If I just wanted to put a jumper over it, you know, you all asked me about, I've had this jumper for about 16 years. It's from Marnie. I got it at Vista Village. Marnie Cashmere is very good because it was it's really thick. It doesn't fall that mm. much. And then for this, which is a classic piece, I can have that popping up and then I have my jumper and I've just done something extra to my jumper and then I can do this again with it, you know, and it works so nicely with the jumper just to give it something extra. It's lovely. Yeah. And great that it's so thin that you can easely layer. It's so thin and it is that exactly that joy. It's that thinness of that piece that can be layered and transform very daytime fabrics. So do you think women of all body types can do that layering? For sure. I think every single person can. And if you have really big boobs, you might do this as a layering piece and have something over it, which is a V, you know, because you mm. might think I'm feeling I'm four boobs instead of two. But, you know, Chloe has curvy shape and we do this with her and we might have a jacket, but it just gives that opportunity for extra excitement. And that's what key pieces should do. Bring the extra excitement to an outfit. Yeah, 100%. Okay, so I'm wearing a classic and a key piece. I always know how important an outfit is when I think about what I wear on my birthday. It's so weird that, but during the day in the office on my birthday, I thought, what do I put on? And it was this, because it's like a piece of tinsel. <laughs> Let me show you how it is. <laughs> it's from Dries van Noten. I paid full price and my God, cost per wear is down probably now to two pounds, but it will be down to 10p 
by this time next year. I pin it at the back so I don't like to wear it too shapeless. So I have a little bit more like that. It's very thin fabric. This is a really unique thing, but I would say a key piece is a unique thing which feels incredibly unusual. And people go, what is that? Or they go, what is that? Mm -hmm. You know, that's that moment in your wardrobe. I can do this over dress, over trousers, over a skirt, on its own, underneath something, over something. It just, it's very versatile for what is, in essence, a sort of shapeless, sleeveless shift top. <laughs> But it has this movement about it. It does. And I just love it. And then, you know, I could go back, I could do this. This is a look I've done a lot this year and just have that poking out the coat like that. And it's that little extra je ne sais quoi here. So, you know, again, the fabric and the textile, the textures have all changed. Yeah. And yeah. also such a lesson to like wear our favourite pieces all the time because you spent so much money on them. You want to get that enjoyment every day. It is so, so true. And it's, you know, when many of you say to me, you know, can you do something that's more clothes for retirement? but in a way it takes away from what I'm trying to inspire to do which is dress with passion every day and if you live in an environment where you think everyone doesn't be the first one to do it a bit that's why I love a white trainer all right because you can dress up and yet not look like you're trying too hard in an environment where you feel people might think oh what's she doing so you might wear a sequin jacket but you might wear it with a trainer and a tweed coat you needn't wear it with an evening dress and a high heel so you know i could do that yeah i've like... done that yet have i no no i know and i'm thinking <laughs> yes that is fucking gorgeous actually i adore that that's my new combo but it's like there's so many combinations of how i can wear this Love it. and so many combinations of how i can wear this and so many combinations of how i can wear this yeah i like to think as well i'm not overdressed everyone else is underdressed it's about instead of can you show me safe outfits to fit into my environment it's like can you show me inspiration to come out of my shell yeah that's yeah. what it is I do feel like that polo neck is safe though. Like you could so wear that and I feel could so safe. I this, yes. And I'm going to show it to you actually. I'm going to start building up another complete look now. All right, now we're going to go on to a cohort. And this is the bottom half of the Serena Buttes uh, cohort. Now, cohorts are everywhere on the high street. First of all, I'm just going to show you the flexibility of the polo neck moment. So when you're feeling the menopausal flush or you don't want to have a polo neck, tuck it in if it has a zip at the back and just create a different type of top. So I can do this with the cohort, the navy trousers. For me, a cohort starting in a classic color is kind of great because it will go with everything. Mm -hmm. And then I can go back and I can do that over it easily. And this now makes it a sort of more evening-y look like that. I can add a nice fun lip. So just to be different, I'm gonna add actually some wheezy to give texture and depth and not color. And I'm just going for that healthier glow. Even do my forehead moment with wheezy because it's so good at just putting everywhere wheezy sheer shimmer. I just got a bit more to the look. So I'm not doing a strong lip in a bright color, but just something neutral. It's lovely. So yeah. that a very nice evening moment, but then I could just take it to its basic cohort moment. I can either wear a cohort in one of two ways. You can wear the shirt as a jacket. A shirt jacket. <laughs> a shirt jacket. I feel we've been here before. <laughs> so you can have it like that, that tucked in, really nice. It's a little shirt jacket like that. And as it gets into spring, I think that's a really nice idea to do. Yeah. And it gives that lovely little detail. It's really to cool. The golden like that. Yeah. And then I could even then do up the top button like that. So I've got that structure there and I could go, this is quite risky for me, but I'm going to do it. I could go back to that jacket and just have the navy with the shimmer coming out and then the kind of texture there of the little shimmer and the navy and the shimmer. But there's a coordination of the length of body going with one color which is always more flattering and it's a darker color than the jacket which i hardly ever do yes but because it's shimmer i think it's fine yeah me too what i love those textures they're good the textures yeah i don't often look. see you with that i know i don't often do it and i'm just closet confessions is also a lot about trying different things when we're in the middle of you know doing a shoot and i actually do love the floppiness that's the thing about a cohort it's about that floppy relaxedness. And also I'm wearing it with the trainers again. Lily's getting excited. <laughs> and if I wore it with a high heel, it would look very different. So that's why I just, I mean, if I was with a high heel, I'd be like that. Mm. And it would just be taking it to this slightly she-she level. And I don't want to, I want to be grounding it. I want to be grounding that look <laughs> with a trainer like that. So I love that together. Yeah. But then the classic way to wear 
Bachelor Co Award is this. I'm gonna go back for this look because I can't resist to a little bit of Sweeney. You can see immediately it makes one's eyes pop and that's what happens when you find the right colour, your eyes should pop and your skin should look good. So the art of wearing a co-ord, now I do it so many ways, this is not a hugely long shirt, but I still love the half tuck because what a half tuck does is it gives that elongation of your leg one side, but you have that little tummy protection the other side. And it gives something just a little bit more enjoyable than everything tucked in. And then at the back, I leave it out like that. So classic co-ord, love it. And a co-ord I can dress up or down because I could tuck in the collar and I could just go with a fun necklace and really go mad. But these cuffs just had that little bit of detail and then the red lip. And then I feel I could go anywhere in this. I could go to a drinks party and I'd feel it would be enough. I could do some earrings as well, but it's sometimes the simplest thing, which is a big statement. So would I include in those key pieces, a statement piece of jewelry for sure. My Trini London ring, those um, bracelets, Maybe those might be it. Yeah. We're gonna just be doing a little bit of the coat, which looks lovely over the cohort, like we wear together, and just have a fun pair of glasses. So one fun pair of glasses changes everything. And you can have like the worst hair day, but with a great lip and a pair of glasses, it doesn't matter what, what on earth your hair looks like. It can just be scrunched up and horrible, but you've made a statement. That's so true. You know, and it just does that for you. And you could have no makeup on but this and just think, I don't care if it's slightly grey or weather. I feel cooler. Yeah. And topping and tailing with the shoes, the cuffs, topping the glasses. And tailing. So simple and changes everything in a flash. So I'm just going to start with these as a basic, but it's a pair of jeans that make you feel how much you love your shape. That's for some people, they can find it challenging from one day to the next. But this is a jean that doesn't always fit me. And when it fits me, you know, I feel I can wear anything. And we all have that relationship with our bodies. It can go up and down. And, and I find that sometimes when I kind of, you know, I've always been exactly the same size for about 20 years. And when I hit menopause, I put on one and a half, two stones. So all the clothes I used to know that gave me the sense of something, it, it I lost it. So regaining that confidence when you're going through weight fluctuations is key and having that thing that you love. So it's not about what size you are, it's finding that thing you love. So, you know, I have jeans that are way too small for me, but this jean is a jean that I feel when I wear it with my boot, I just feel cool. I feel it's not a skinny jean. I like the way it goes out. These are citizens of humanity. They don't make them anymore. I think you can get them a bit on Vestia Collective and secondhand sites, but I just like the way they're cropped because crop makes me feel it's kind of hip. The length of the boot makes my legs not then look foreshortened. And then I'm gonna put over it my other key key thing for me is a neon shirt. And luckily, you know, Zara have done some this season because this one is the Serena Butte one, but I, you know from Closet Confessions how often I wear neon and you know how much it can transform things for me. So I love it. I bought two because I never want it to be without one. And that's always a sign to me if I really, really love something and you think if something happened to it, how many things in my wardrobe would be affected by that loss? A great loss. A, a, a lot. So I will wear this like this. I could wear it with you know, the tweed jacket on top. And what it does to something like tweed, it just gives it that freshness and fun and having quite a lot of it come out, getting getting the neon really present. It could be pink neon for you. It could be green neon, but it's a shocking color, mm. which is transform neutral shades. So I love that. Yeah, a good pair of jeans can make you feel so good. Oh my God, so good. And then again, if I'm wanting to do something, you know, like at night, I could do this look. And I could do it with the neon shirt underneath and it would go. And it just gives a whole different look to the sequin. Agree. And it sort of feels now a bit more rock and roll. You know, I could just tuck it all in or I can tie it at the waist. I can do anything, but I feel cool, chilled, easy. And then if I wanted to be very, very classic and I just want to have a jumper and it's just going to poke out the jumper, it's going to change what the grey jumper was. My good friend, the Lani one, just brings a little extra level to it. It does. Like that. Yeah. Very cool. So I love that. And then when we're going back to the jeans, I mean, sometimes with jeans, there's nothing better than just that continuous color. So one of my favorite looks, if I do want to be 
really clean is just to have that grey going all the way down and then I would take the scarf, put that on like that mm -hmm. and just have that very chilled look but it's a lovely jumper and it's a well cut pair of jeans so that's been an investment but I've had it for many many years so that works really well and then I could just team it up and I could then do this again I'm putting this on top of now a sort of woolly jumper which we haven't done yet have we but just how that can just be a fun clean look and you want to be it's daytime I might do I still think the red lip looks good or would we change it I think you could go with something more neutral I think I could too so I'm feeling as I look at this that the look needs to come down in the lip so I'll take that off I might do a tiny bit of Sasha lip love to get a little bit of color in but I'll follow with the neutral of Katie nearly at the end of it sheer shimmer which picks up a little bit of that shimmery feel from the outfit and then put some on my cheek so it gives me a more neutral look, but there's that little pop of warmth on my lip. Oh, I love that combination. So it works really well. It's oh, quite so rosy on the cheek. A bit rosy on the cheek, yeah. and a bit rosy on the cheek. So <laughs> of things that I haven't brought up, I haven't brought up like the idea of bags. Okay, so very quickly, a neon bag over anything is just fun and mad. You know, it just brings a mad moment to things and you could do neutral, but sometimes you can wear very neutral clothes and do neon somewhere like a trainer or the shirt or a bag. So I do love that. But mm. if I was looking at which two bags I would save in my life, it would be a silver bag because I am more silver than gold and I wear this with everything. So for me, this bag is just my piece of jewelry when I'm doing something really casual and it just makes every outfit feel a little bit elevated. Mm -hmm. That is a key piece for me. My neutral shade of a leather bag is this grey because I think that I could do navy or I could do black, but grey sort of goes with navy and black and grey. And black bags, I think, can sometimes, they can be beautiful, but I just love something that's a bit softer than black. Interesting, they're both the same shaped bag. I know they say. are, aren't they? Mm. It's because of my shape that I like that shape. And then other things that I would say are key essentials here are, you know, I did the leopard scarf, but a neutral scarf. This is a lovely one from Isabel Morant. This one, the yellow scarf, is another way to do neon if you wanted to bring it in. I think that's about it. We're done. We're Should done. we come and just discuss what we're doing next? Oh, you did well yeah. doing all of that. Yeah, so there's 16 things. So if I went away and I had those 16 things plus my jeans and the classic white t-shirt, yeah. that's nine, and the scarf, that's ten. That's a few extra. Okay, all right. So next week. Um, should we do some more colour? Well, I'm building up some sort of turquoisey greens. Mm -hmm. I'm also looking at pinks. Did you see what I did a few weeks ago with my jewellery? Yeah, so I love we, that. We could look at that yeah. We might go there. So either of those, which ones do you want in which order? Let us know. If there's anything else that you would like us to do, leave your messages in the comments below. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Molly and Jemima.